and we're live hey everybody happy friday what's popping and welcome to tonight's live painting tutorial as i promised i will be i was going to be going live at 7 p.m tonight i'm a little bit late sorry you guys i had to do mommy duties so i'm gonna wait for some of you guys to come in now, tonight we have a little bit of a different setup. I'm going to be teaching you guys step-by-step, -step, live and direct, how to paint a lily. As you guys know, like springtime is right on the horizon, you guys. And I cannot wait because here in Baltimore, in the East Coast, it is super duper cold. And the weather just doesn't know what it wants to do. I'm going to be using acrylics tonight. Everything I'm using is down in the description box below. If you guys are new around here, hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. I am the artist behind Creative Girl of Color. And welcome. If you like this sort of content, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for all notifications. So as you can see, I'm doing a different setup tonight, you guys. I'm here at the easel. It's super exciting. I know, right? <laughs> It is super exciting because I'm going to be working from my easel tonight. Put your, your questions down in the chat and I will try to get to them as much as I can. We're going to get right up in this tutorial. We don't want to, we don't want to waste. To, I can't even talk tonight. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's like the Friday night. It's Friday night. Okay. Maybe it's because it's Friday night and I'm like, you know, I can't even get my words together. <laughs> I cannot even get my words together. Shout out to the new subscribers. Let's welcome them to the family. Hello, everyone. Now, if you guys need help with color theory, I will link that up in the iCard when this tutorial is over. As well as, yes, if you need help with, if you're not too familiar with drawing and that stuff like that, let me sit at my easel. You guys won't be able to see my face too much tonight, you guys. But believe me, I will be here and I will be able to see your questions. Um, if you need, like if, you, if you're not too familiar with kind of how to draw and stuff like that, you're not too good with that or you need help with that, you can check the description box below and get a link to my Patreon where this traceable, yes, you guys, I have drew it out for you i did all of the work you do not have to worry about a thing if you want to attempt this tutorial you can head over to my patreon and get you the traceable today for just one dollar just one dollar a month you guys you can have access to traceables as well as reference photos and all sorts of exclusive content if you decide to choose from a different package besides the traceable but the traceables and the reference photos are only a dollar a month. Now, now that that is all right. <laughs> um, again, I'm using acrylic. You can use any acrylics that you want to use. Utilize whatever you have at home, including craft paint or whatever. But in this case, I am using, as you can see, golden. I'm using some golden golden acrylics you guys my favorite and of course hopefully you love children because you'll be hearing the ambient sounds of my son in the background now hopefully now hopefully everything works out with our live tonight and we won't have any mechanical issues technical issues if we happen to do that I will put up part two for tomorrow, but for now, and I'm using some Winter and Newton Galleria, as well as just different types of acrylics. You can use any acrylics that you want to. We're not even gonna worry about it, you guys. Now, with springtime coming, it is the absolute most beautiful time to do flowers. Like, I absolutely love flowers. On my channel, you will find lots of flowers, portraits and landscape an occasional landscape and of course seascapes ocean paintings and things like that 
Now, question of the day. Question of the day. What type of flower do you guys like? And why do you like it? Why is it significant to you? Make sure you watch to the end because I will have a special bonus pro art tip for you guys just for this particular painting. I was just going to do a flower, but if we have any extra time, I will actually go ahead and do something else. Now, let me zoom in a little bit. Um, as you can see, I actually have flowers on my table right now. Let me zoom in a bit so you can see. And you can actually see my palette. Okay. So I think that's good. Yeah, I, th I think we're good at that. We're, we're good with that. Right, guys? We are good with that. All right. Now, let's get started. Let's get started, you guys. I put out. Now, for this particular piece, in case you didn't see the reference photo, here's my reference photo, you guys. But you can, again, you can go onto patreon.com on my Patreon and you can get the traceable for this. But here's my reference that I have above my canvas. I'm using an 8x10 canvas, which you can get at any Michaels, any craft store, anywhere in the world, right? Even a Walmart, I think they have them, right? So I'm using an 8x10 canvas and I just drew it on with some red, I don't know, watercolor pencil. And I'm going to have this above. As you can see with the flowers, we're going to have a lot of pinks, a lot of reds, a little bit of purple, and then we have some green in there. So that's what I'm going to be putting out. You For the pinks and the reds, you can use any red that you have. But for me, I'm going to be using quinacridone. Yep, you heard it. You know how it is. You know how I am. I like quinacridone magenta. So I'm going to be putting out some quinacridone magenta as well as I'm going to be using some yellow. Which this is Hansa Yellow Opaque. I like this yellow. It's very pretty. So I'm going to put a little bit of that out. You can actually see my palette, which is great. So yeah, you guys, I'm just testing out this new live streaming angle and section and of course like i said hopefully you guys enjoy the chitlins because it will be lots of ambient sounds going on as well as some titanium white so i'm putting out my blue for my leaves And I just have a different, I have actually a Nathal Crimson here from Liquitex. That's another one of my good brands that I really, really enjoy. And, and I put a little bit of that out already. That is actually a, a looser body paint. And I'm going to put out some, uh, I don't know what this is. This is Yellow Ochre. I'm going to put out some yellow ochre because I may want different tones, like different greens. So, as you know, with different greens, you want to have um, different yellows so that you can utilize different shades of green. Which I will also link that um, color theory video up. Because I have a whole color theory video just on... 10 shades of green, you guys. Okay, I got my handy dandy angle brush, yeah? So, this is one of my favorite brushes. I really, really love it. It is Simply Simmons. This, actually, these are beautiful brushes because these are, not only are they economical, but it's an old, it's an old company that makes these brushes. So, they make really good brushes for like mad cheap. Especially if you buy them at Michaels, they're like $2.99. And they last me a while. I have some of these brushes that lasted me like over a year, you guys. Like, it's absolutely insane. Okay? I think this is some sort of like wild lily. That's what I think this is. Okay, so let's get painting. Right, Danielle? Like, y'all probably like, um, okay. <laughs> I like to chat. I like to talk. 
Like, why can't I talk? Why can't I live? You know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm going to mix up a little bit. I want to have different shades of pink because that's what we have here. So I have my natural red here, and I also have my rag off to the side. And I actually need to get that. My rag over here. So I'm utilizing my rag. You never want to leave that sort of stuff on your brush. I mean, on your palette knife. I'm using a palette knife. Get a little bit of this natural crimson. Do you know what I'm saying? And I'm getting some white. Like, I mixed up this white. Like, I kind of keep batches of this stuff around because you can never have too much white. Like, that's like a pro tip that I recommend for you guys. If you're starting out and you like on a budget and you don't want to spend a lot of money, I would recommend that you get um that you get a big white and a large blue. Because you can never have enough blue, you can never have enough white. Because that's the colors you're going to use the most. Blue, white, yellow, and red. Those are the colors that you want to invest in if you're on a budget. So anyway, I'm just mixing up this little um, saturations of different pinks and stuff like that. So the natural crimson gave me a nice soft pink. Which is great. Oh, also I'm going to whip out... I'm going to whip out my go-to gloss glazing liquid, you guys. Yeah. I absolutely love this product, right? It's by Golden. It not only does it slow down the drying time, a slow drying extender, but it is also a medium. Okay. So it doesn't matter how much of this stuff you add to your acrylic. It will never break down the chemical compounds, the polymers of your acrylic. So that's not something that you ever would have to worry about. Okay. Now, I'm going to also mix up a little bit of quinacridone. Because if you guys don't know, magenta is more like a pinky red. Right. I'm going to put out a little bit of this. Not even a little bit. But I'm going to put out a lot of this uh, glazing liquid. So, quinacridone is more of like a pinky type of um, color, you guys. And I actually don't know why I even added that glazing liquid to that because that's actually a slow drying paint that I put out. And I'm going to add, you only need very little bit, very little bit, you guys, of this uh, quinacridone to actually change your whole compound of what your pink is going to look like to change any color that you put out like quinacridone is very strong okay you guys so as you can see let me put this to the side so that i can have access to it oh that's great I'm dropping everything, you guys. I'm dropping things. I'm dropping everything. Ooh. Woo. All right. Um, let me move this so I can kind of show you what I'm talking about here. Okay. So, as you can see with the different pinks here. Right, this is quinacridone, which you can see it's like a very high chroma, very rich color. And also, this is a artist color. So you see how potent that is. You see the differences in the color. Versus this is more of a student grade color from Liquitex. And it is a different shade. Like it is an actual red, not the crimson. So you're going to get a softer pink when you're dealing with the two. Right? Just a little tip, you guys. You know, I'm obsessed with color, so I had to explain all that. I had to go there with you guys. If you have any questions, don't forget to put it up in the chat. I will get to you as much as I can. Right? 
All right, so I'm wetting my brush and I'm gonna look at my reference photo to figure out where I am. Now, when you're dealing with composition, you wanna think about, there's gonna be many different shades, right? You wanna have at least three different shades. You wanna have a shadow, a mid-tone, and a highlight. You wanna at least have that on your palette <coughs> so everything looks good, yeah? All right, um, I'm gonna get into this darker red. Now remember, the complementary color for reds and pinks is green. So if you ever wanna darken a green or darken a red, you can always add either or and that will give you a darker version. But in this case, I'm gonna do a purple. A purple will actually give me the same thing. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that quinacridone, a little bit of the blue. That's gonna give me a dark purple. You see that, you guys? Oh, you can't see that, okay. Let me put it up then. Now you can see it a little better. Um, so that's gonna give me like a dark purple. I actually added a little bit of ultramarine, quinacridone, and that will give me a purple, which will give me a darker version of the red, right? And I'm gonna add a little bit of red and the purple together, and voila, voila, blackout, right? We got a darker version of our red, right? Okay. Now, let me go into my shadows here. We can gonna get right into it. We have a little fold that's right here. Even though it's not as dark, so. It's not as dark, but that's okay. I'm just going to fill in where I see my dark spaces. This is the good time to kind of do that, you guys. It's a dark line about here dark line here and I'm actually gonna get a darker red I want a dark red but not too dark okay add a little bit of quinacridone to it and that'll give me that, but I need a little bit of white too. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to it. Cause I need it to be a little bit lighter, but not super light. And you don't have to follow, you know, the reference or, um, you don't even have to follow it verbatim for real. like. Right? You can make this, cause this is your painting, you guys. If you attempt to do this tutorial, don't forget to tag me up on Instagram, you guys. So see, I put a little bit of a redder virgin right here, yeah? Now the beautiful thing about that, um, the beautiful thing about the, when you add <clears throat> the white, and the different reds and stuff together. It gives you a little bit of a hint as well as the glazing liquid. Cause see, you can see it right here. See it, you guys? You can see right here I have that. It's red, but it's not like a deep red. It's more, you know, pinkish type of thing. Pinkish, whatever. Now you can make your own the way you want to. Again, if you decide to do this tutorial, just hit me up on Instagram at the hashtag Creative Girls of Color. Um, now I'm, I'm gonna get a soft and softer pink here. That's my little lighter pink. Now I'm more of a, of a realist type of painter, you guys. Like I love realism. Realism is my jam. So that's mostly what you will find on this channel. I like to do things with a lot of detail and a lot of realism. If that's not your thing, you can always do an abstract type of flower 
and that's okay too. It's not like, you know, a big deal. So I'm just filling in where I see highlights at, where I feel like things are happening. We look like we have a little bit of, I think, orange. It's not orange, not quite an orange, but it has like a hint. Do you know if you add a little bit of yellow ochre to the pink and the red, you get like a beautiful, like golden type of red. Um, not golden type of red, but you know, it's like a golden pink, yeah? So you see, you get those, you still get a different variation of, of the pink. Right, you guys? And you can see that there. That's looking pretty good so far. So I'm just adding these different variations. And you can always blend this stuff together later. But because I have the glazing liquid on here, I'm actually going to add a little bit of that here at the end. Because I think we have some light coming here on the end of the flower. Um... The good thing about the glazing liquid is that you can always do this sort of stuff. You can do this because, and look, it even, see that little bit is giving it a dimension, right? It's giving it a dimension like this thing is folding, like the leaf is folding over. And then you have that middle piece right there, but it's not really folding over. And over here is going to be our lightest version. So, um, what did I do with my weight? Okay. I don't want to contaminate my white, so I got to put out some white. We don't want any contamination here, peeps. No contamination. Okay? So I'm just going to put out a plop of white over there. Because I need my white to stay pure. I need my whites to stay pure. Ooh! Look at that. I'm getting it all over the place, too. Okay. All right, now I'm going to get into, I'm going to wipe off my brush because I still want to leave a little bit of a residue there, but not that much. And I'm going to get, you see how my white is still kind of mixed with that pink that I still have on my brush because I want a little bit of pink. But I want it to be mostly white. Right? I want it to be mostly white, you guys. Because right here is where I have... This leaf here is going to be the most prominent. You feel what I'm saying? Do you feel what I'm saying? Now, remember, when you're doing this first layer, like I always say... Acrylics are all about the layers, you guys. They're all about the layers. Okay? So, you got to keep layering. Don't give up. Don't be like, oh my God, it looks like crap. It looks like shit. <laughs> and be like, oh my God, it looks like crap. I, I don't like it. It looks terrible. That's that's how they get you. That's how the acrylics get you. You know, everything looks ugly before it looks good. Okay? Let's just put it that way. So I wouldn't worry about it. Everything looks ugly before it looks good. All right. Now, down here, we're going to get into... I need, I need, I need... I'm going to do a little bit of red. I'm going to go rogue with it, right? This is going to be a darker value down below, right? But I still want to keep these, but I still want it to be a little bit of, not as, as dark. So that's what we're thinking about here. We're not as dark. But this is still kind of dark a little bit. But I can always go back over it, you guys, like, you know, again. It doesn't have to be, like, exact. Get you a good, like, brush. I'm wiping off my brush, you guys. Get you a good brush that you can do a lot of detail with. 
that has a good point. You can never go wrong with a good brush, you guys. You just can't. So this brush is kind of like... It doesn't have a lot of pigment on it. So I'm just like smoothing some areas out. All right, so I think I've gotten a lot. Um, I think I did pretty good on that leaf. So let me head over to, um, let me see if you guys are actually saying anything. If you have any questions, let me know, you guys. Um, okay, so let me head to this other one. This other one is really dark, so... Again, I'm going back into like my purplish red, my palette. If you don't have glazing liquid or you don't have quinacridone, don't worry about it. Just get any red that you have and um, just use water if you feel like your brush is starting to drag. Don't worry about it. Again, I'm getting into my purple, purplish red, which will give me a darker version. If you don't know how to mix purple, um, or you don't have purple, and you have green, go ahead and use green to darken your red. Right? Okay, now this has a really dark line going down the middle. So I'm gonna use that. It's good to put your darks in first, and you can always put your dark, um, your lights in later. And it is, um, that's basically how acrylics work anyway. Is dark to light. So that's pretty much what you would like to do anyway. All right. So I think that's pretty much it for the purple. Now I'm going to get a lighter version. Remember, we had a lighter version. Our red, lighter version. So I get a little bit of that. Now I'm basically going a little slower and taking my time to explain it to you guys. Usually I would just, you know, whip through this stuff. As you get more comfortable with color theory, you can do anything you want. I'm actually going to use a little bit of this, see if I like it or not. Hmm. Kind of like it. Kind of like it. Kind of feeling it, maybe. Maybe. I'm kind of liking it. I think we have like a red rim, too. So I'm going to put a little bit down here. And that's okay, too. I don't know if this is dry yet, but I'm going to reinforce while I have this value on my brush. Reinforce that. And I think we have a little bit down here. Now, the dark, now because you have this dark here at the bottom of your petal, it's going to give the illusion like your petal, right? It's going to give you the illusion like your petal is going downward, like it's beneath the other petal. Right? I'm getting into my pink. I didn't even wash off my brush because I don't mind if it's dirty. I like a little dirty. Right? And this is going to be my lighter version right here. Why is that lighter right there? Because again, if you have a lighter version there, right, your lighter version. 
will signify that the petal is kind of peeking out at the top, right? That's what that signifies, you guys. And then we have this little beam of light right there. Beam of light. Remember what I say. Everything, you know, this needs to be a lighter color. Um, everything looks great. Things look weird. In the beginning until they don't. So that's what you got to think about. Things always look weird until they don't. Right? Alright, so now let me go to this next one here. I'm just going to keep filling things in. I'm wondering if I could come down. You know what? I think I could bring my thing down. And then if I bring my thing down, you know what? It's okay. I'm not going to worry about it, you guys. I was saying maybe I should bring my reference down so you can see it, but I don't know. That's going to make a bit of a difference. All right, so now I'm getting into my different reds again. Hello? 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 Yes, you guys. Oh my god. Like, you can't. <laughs> Woo. Alright, so I'm putting this little bit of dark value here. Cause that's what I'm seeing in my reference, you guys. This is gonna signify a dark area here. And I'm just gonna fill things in as I see fit. It has a little bit of a dark right here. And a little darker here. This is dark too right here. Um, but I need it to be darker than that. So I'm going to add my purple. There we go. You have that dark value there. Same thing here. This whole thing right here is really dark. So I'm going to add that value back. This signifies something really dark right there. Hopefully my phone is not trying to go dead on me. We will see, you guys. We will see. Time will tell, right? All right, I'm putting a little bit of that... Um, We actually have something here. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit here. I'm just putting down what I see. That's that yellow. And I'm going to put a little bit here. This is actually that yellow. Yellow, pink, red. That's what I'm putting in there. Because this one has to kind of overlap this. All right? It has to overlap. Overlap, you guys. All 
and you put a little bit, a little bit of. I'm gonna go with a little bit of a darker red, but I don't want it to be super dark, right? Uh oh, I think I covered up my what's the name too. I covered up my what's the name, okay? I'm not gonna worry about that. I, you know, you can always fix things. The good thing about acrylic, you can always fix things if you feel like something has gone awry. Like it's nothing ever that serious. And put a little bit of this right here. You want to have different variations, you guys. Different variations. All right, let's head to the next one. Um, head over here. Get in. This is a darker red, so you know what? I need to get my purple red. Again, like I was telling you before. Acrylics are dark to light. And this is supposed to be underneath this flower, so I'm going to carefully try to block this in. Now, this is the beginning stages, you guys. Like, this flower is supposed to be actually underneath here, underneath this other petal. And that dark will help me to signify that's underneath that other petal. Uh, petal. <laughs> I can't even talk. Petal. Whatever. All right. Um, now I'm going to get into a little bit of a lighter pink to fill this in. And actually, I need that to go right about here. That's going to loop around, right? And that's going to signify that that's going out right there. And then I'm going to get a little bit of a white because I need an even lighter version here. Because the outside of this petal is actually white. And... Now I'm going to get into my... I'm actually getting into some straight up red. Straight up red, you guys. Even though I need to mix it with some of this quinacridone to stop playing around. So I'm just getting these different reds in here. Right? Um, I actually need to have a little bit of that going up this way. Try not to get it into my white. Okay. And I'm wiping off my brush, going in, I'm getting a little bit of this red. I want a little bit of a lighter version, and I'm actually going to have some of this. Some of this actually goes up in here. I don't know why, but, you know, you got to ask the nature gods. Why, why, why? I don't know why, you guys. I don't. But it does, okay? Interesting fact, right? About flowers. Is that... Um, you will never find an even number amount of flowers in nature. Did you guys know that? Like, oh my God, you will never find. Okay, I'm going to wash up my brush because I'm getting like um, these regular leaves. These uh, flower petals are getting on my nerves, right? So I need to switch gears. I like to jump around because I get irritated and get bored and be like, uh-uh, you're doing too much. So now I'm going to get some blue. Switch it up a little bit. Get a little bit of this yellow. And that's going to give me, voila, a green, you guys. 
Okay. And that's all good. I'm going to wipe that off. Get a little more blue. And you know what? I don't know. I don't know. You got to be careful of the yellow that you use because if you use a certain yellow, I'm going to actually put a little bit of yellow ochre in there to cool that down. Gray that out because that's a little bit too uh, la 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 for me. Yeah? It's a little bit too ooh la la for me. Anybody ever seen that, um, that music video, ooh la la? It's a little bit too ooh la la for my taste, okay? You got to be careful of the type of yellows that you use when you're doing um, leaves and shrubbery and stuff like that because I'm just going to block this in because I can always go back if I need to, you guys. I can always go back if I need to. All right? Um, yeah, so you gotta be careful the type of yellow you use because it can make your, um, your greens really highly saturated. Nobody wants to deal with that. We just don't, right? Now, I'm going to get into a little more deeper green. Remember what we said the complement for green was, right? Add a little, you can even add some quinacridone to that bad boy. And that will give you a darker version. Now, the outside, the inside of this petal, right, is very dark. Very dark. So, we're going to put some dark in there. Because the inside of our petal is really dark. That's why you guys ever wonder why green and red go so well together. Right? All right, now, let me get into my other leaf. Um, I'm actually going to put out a different yellow because... This yellow is a little bit too, oh, what is going on? What is going on? Um, I don't know what's going on. Let me see. You know what? I might have to unplug this. Unplug it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to take the top off, peeps, to get me some yellow. Old yellow. See, this is a different yellow. As you can see, see that? That's a really light yellow. Maybe that was the difference. Maybe that's what was kind of throwing me off is that yellow that I had out there. I think that's what was kind of throwing me off about this thing. That's what was happening. All right, so I wet my brush a little bit. Got me some regular yellow over here. You could actually add some black to this stuff. That's my, my favorite thing I like to do is add black to things. And let's see here. I'm actually, this actually has some lines in it. So, um, towards here, right, is really dark so let's put the really dark piece because remember this is this leaf is underneath this petal so it's gonna be really dark <clears throat> I think this actually has a little black in it it looks like it does it looks like it does peeps right and I'm going to get a little bit of a lighter, lighter version here. I'm trying to keep the shape of my petals in check here.
trying to keep the shape. Uh, do the same thing with this one. Because I can always go back. I have this red outline, which is great, because that's just going to bleed into it. Now, you can make these petals different colors if you want. They don't necessarily need to be like that. I can't even see what my... You can actually go a little bit, stand to go a little bit lighter, which is okay. I'm blending this out a little bit. That's what I'm doing. Getting my ultramarine. Right up under this, this petal here, this is gonna be really dark. So that's why I put that dark right there. That dark green. Same thing here. Hmm. How did I miss a whole leaf? I think I missed a leaf, you guys. Something is not right. Something is not right. I'm just adding this green to this. With light pressure, taking the tip of my brush. Then we gotta have a leaf there. I think I'm missing a leaf. There's a leaf in here I'm missing, you guys. A leaf I'm missing. All right, let me plug my phone in. I feel like I'm missing. I'm trying not to trip over anything. It's like too many wires. <laughs> too many wires, too much equipment. Okay. Too many wires, too much equipment. So for all you newbies out there, right? And my phone is getting hot at the same time. I hope it doesn't try to go haywire on me. Because sometimes that's what happens. I realize that's what's been going on with my life sometimes. Sometimes the phone gets hot and it goes like insane. Let me move this in a little more. Sometimes it gets hot and it goes insane in the membrane and then it's a whole thing. Okay. So hopefully it will maintain and won't go bonkers on me. Yeah. All right. So let me get a different yellow here. I'm actually going to go. If you want to make things seem like it's in the distance, you could actually add a little bit of yellow ochre. And you can make things seem like it's further away. Because I think there is actually. There is a whole petal here. That I'm missing. So I'm going to have to freehand this bad boy in. Because this is a whole. A 
whole petal I'm missing. There's a whole petal I'm missing, you guys. A whole petal. And we put a little bit. I'm not even going to wash off my brush. I'm actually, it doesn't matter if it mixes with the red or not. Or not. Yeah. I'm getting this darker version here. I'm actually gonna switch to a different brush. This is actually a little bit too big. You wanna switch to the brush that is gonna get the job done, so to speak. All right, that's what you wanna switch to, you guys. Okay, so you got something there. Um. Let me move in a little bit. I'm actually going to switch to my angle brush. That's what I need to do right now. Let's switch it over to my angle. Because I think my angle would do a lot better job than I'm doing right now. With this whole situation. Oh. I'm supposed to be wiping off my palette knife. I'm sitting here with the palette knife in my hand. With a bunch of paint on it. Okay. I used to love getting my nails done way before I became an artist. And now, like, I'm like, uh-uh. Like, I couldn't even do it because if I did, that would ruin my whole... <laughs> like, the paint, with the painting that I'm doing on a regular basis, like, if you're a daily painter, because I paint almost every day, you guys. So if you're a daily painter, that would ruin like your whole thing. So I'm I'm kind of like on a weird angle, but this is an angle brush. You see what I did there? Yeah. Right, and let's take that down. And I got something here. Still working with those greens, filling in those angles. And let's fill in this. With the same angle brush. And da -da 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 -da. let's look at this other brush. I mean uh other thing that I need. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with these darker lines because we have a darker line here, right? We have some lines in um in our leaves. So I'm actually going to go in with this darker value. And I'm actually going to put a, like a darker value here. Put a little bit of a dark here and then reinforce this same thing. And... You can actually, look, that looks actually dope. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, the angle of this thing is driving me crazy. I need this to be a little more round right here. You know, just because something looks a certain way in a picture doesn't mean you have to keep it that way. It really doesn't. Like, you can fit it 
to do what you want, pretty much. Same thing here. I need this to be darker right here. I need this and that. And I'm just putting some lines in. And getting some dark in between there. Sorry about that, you guys. People are making a lot of noise today. All right, let's work, continue to work on... Oh, I'm going to block in this because this is the only one that has kind of like a purple... A purplish type of hue. So I'm going to get some white and purple. And I'm actually going to add a little bit of pink to that because... I think this has a little bit of a pink in it. So white, purple. And a little bit of pink. Pink and purple go hand in hand. They're like peanut butter and jelly, yeah? Because that's an actual... It looks, it looks, okay, you know what, I'm going to add a little bit here, you know, because we have to have a little bit of a color. A lot of our color is kind of here, right? Oh, boy, 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 boy. I'm getting a little bit of magenta. We had a little bit of a yellow that mixed in there, and that's okay. But I'm going to get a little bit of magenta. And pull this out a little bit. And I mix a little bit of pink in there with that magenta. And you know what? A little bit of yellow ochre. Because I need to kind of... I need to tone this back. I need to tone it back. But I don't want it to be totally... Um, Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. We have a little bit of shadow right there. And I'm going to go in with this same value right here. And I'm going to put in some right here. That same reddish kind of pinkish value right there. And it's some here too. And I'm going to get some white. Go back in with my pink. Kind of pinkish. I want it to be really light though. So I'm going to add a lot of white. A lot of white and pink. Because that's what this is.
That's okay if it's a little red at the beginning because... I'm going to go back over it with some color later. I'm adding some white at the top. Because this side is really light in the photo. You, you can see it's really light in the photo. As well as over here. And then uh, down here is a lot of white at the bottom of that little bulb thing. So I'm going to get some pink and white. Very little. And I'm going to add that at the bottom. Now we have, I already have some color there, so... There's a little bulb there. All right, now let me go in with my pink. Still got some pink kind of right here. And you have some coming down the middle. All right, so we got some coming down the middle, and now I'm going to get, again, go into my really light color, which is almost pure white, but it has a little bit of a pink in it, so I'm just going to add that, but I haven't cleaned off my brush. Just reinforcing some of the white parts in places that I see, yeah? At the end of the day, you guys, you want to just take your time. I'm just going in the middle here, adding a little white piece. Because we're going to have to come in with those little stamens or whatever you call these things. I don't even know how you even uh, talk about these things. I use watercolor brush, to, I mean watercolor pencil to block in my sketch. So that's why I'm getting a lot of that red right there. I added a little bit of yellow ochre to give me like this. A uh, beautiful kind of pinkish vintage pink type of thing. So I'm just adding things as I see it. It's kind of like, you know, when you're dealing with flowers, they're kind of like <clears throat> similar to dealing with portraits. You're going to have all these different shades when you're dealing with uh Um, yeah, you're going to have all these different shades. Like portraiture, you're going to have all these different shades, you know what I'm saying? That's how things are going to be. And I'm getting back into my white. Because I need the white to be about right here. Cause that has to overlap right there 
And you know what? Let me get into a little bit more of my pinkish, whatever you call it. And I'm going to go right here. But I'm going in the, like a dabbing motion right here. Getting my little magenta and I'm just dabbing that in. Right here. And I need some darker purple. Going into my purple. And you want to do this while this is wet though because if you don't it doesn't work. It's just going to be a blob of purple right there. And I'm going to get my red. I actually want like a darker. I don't even want purple. I want a darker red. Right about here. That's what I want. That's what I want, you guys. And I'm just reinforcing this right here. And what else? What else? What else? Okay. Take your time, you guys, when you're doing this. Like, it's not a race. It's not like, oh, my God, I got to get this done, like, right away. Like, unless you're doing a commission. Like, that's a whole nother different story. But, I mean, if you're doing this for your own personal gain, you know, I would say just take your time. Take your time. I'm going over these lines again, right up in here. Going up in those lines, you guys. I need to reinforce. I'm just reinforcing all of those same values that I told you about. There's nothing weird going on. Nothing weird happening over here. Nothing weird to see over here. And nothing weird happening over here. All right, this middle piece is supposed to have the middle where the stamens is. That's supposed to have a little bit of a, like a white. So I'm going to get some white. And actually, I got too much red on my brush. This red kind of like populates everything. Populates everything, you guys. This populates the whole world. And blah, 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 blah. Um, I need some white. So I'm going to go into my white straight out. And because I need the middle, I need a little bit of a light green. A lighter green goes right in the middle here, goes up here, into here. And actually, my stuff is still wet. This would be a good time if you are at home doing this yourself. This would be a really excellent time to kind of, I'm just going to put straight up white in here. This would be a good time for you to, this white that goes right up here. And then you have some white here. 
right? Um, if you're doing this at home, this would be a good time for you to dry it. But it happens, I do not have my dryer, you guys. I do not have my dryer. I need um, strictly white. I need to go in here. Strictly white, you guys. Because this is supposed to be strictly white. I'm going right up the middle with that. And I'm actually going to take my, if I can find it, my little blender brush. And... I'm gonna blend some of this stuff out, blend it out. Right. But you know what, I'm not gonna be able to blend it too much because it's still kind of wet. Uh, you still wanna have a little pink, I think. I'm going to kind of fray this this way. It needs to be frayed that way. And same thing here. I'm actually going to get a little bit of pink to add into a little bit of magenta. To add in the there. Okay. And here too, I need to. I'm just blending things out. Blending things out, blending things out, blend it out. Blending makes everything look better. Now, if you're an uh, abstract artist, you don't necessarily have to do this. You know, blending may not be your thing. But I like things to be smooth and extra. Right? So, well, my leaves are dry already, so. Can't really mess with those too much. I'm wiping off my brush yeah. on my uh, thing in case you can't, you guys can't see that. I'm actually wiping off my brush. All right, so we have some leaves down below, down below, and now to make things easier for me, I'm actually gonna turn this over, and so I can get these kind of like. Cause there's like, um, oh, did I run out of, I ran out of blue, you guys. Um, there's some stems at the bottom. So I'm putting out a little more blue. my angle brush again <laughs> and I'm getting on my tip of my angle and I'm bringing it right on down because I need that stem right there and there's another stem over here somewhere Alright, I can't find that stem, but I am going to reinforce this right here. The 
the good thing about um, these leaves, you can always go in and reinforce these. Reinforce these greens. That's what I'm doing right now. And I'm actually going to put a little bit here. Going up here. This is actually wet. So I'm not going to put too much of that in the middle of that. You can actually add some reds to this. You can add reds and, and purples and pinks and stuff like that. Um, to your leaves to add a little more interest if you guys wanted to do that You know just add a little more so you just a little bit of red To your leaves that that adds a little bit of an interest And it'll work in your favor because it can make green look darker right it all depends on what you're trying to do you guys all right let me go back into wash off my brush go back into my pink Hopefully you guys stay to the end so that you can see the big reveal of the little thing that I'm going to be putting here. I actually should put some stuff down there. But anyway, I need to get into this like purple. I need really light purple. So that's what I'm getting into. Really light purple right here. Really light purple. And let's get a little bit here. And I need a little bit of a darker purple. So let's put a little bit of that there. Just with some interest. We get a little bit of a darker purple there. And I put a little bit, um, just blended a little bit of that purple in right there so that you have a little bit of a shadow at the bottom. It's not looking totally like it's like floating in space. Right? <clears throat> now at this point, for most people, you would let this stuff dry or you could take a blow dry and actually buy it. Uh, dry. But the location that I'm at, that I have my easel at right now, I don't want to do that because that will unfortunately blow my uh, circuit breaker where I'm at. So I don't want to do that. So no, we're not doing that today, darling. We're just not. Yeah? <laughs> All right. Um, getting back into my greens. I still need some white, though, yeah? You know what? Let me just go with the yellow. So let's get the yellow. And let's get a little bit of yellow here. And I want a little bit of light here. So let's put a little bit of a yellow in here. Right? You still want to put those highlights on, you know, people think, oh, it's green. It doesn't need highlights. Yeah, and it still needs highlights. And you still have to reinforce your values. You know what I'm saying? 
But you know what I'm saying. And I still got to go around it with my white. And I think I'm going to do that. Okay, let me wash off my brush. Okay, so let's give that a break. While that dries, while we get that together, here is today's bonus activity. Yes? All right? So that's looking pretty good. Um, let me see if I can bring it over a little bit, just a smidge. So that's looking pretty, pretty beautiful for my end. If you wanted to, you could actually leave this, you guys. You could actually leave this as is. Like as is, it would still be gorgeous. And you could get a frame, hang it up in your office, in your living room. I mean, from a distance, people be like, oh my God, that looks gorgeous. <laughs> All right, so now I want to have the illusion like we have like, um, I don't know, like a bowl, right? Like it's in some sort of clear vase. So what is clear vase? So this is our bonus tip, right? The clear vase is going to reflect whatever is around it. And in this case, it's nothing but white on white on white. You know, besides a few whatever. So all I'm going to do is reflect pretty much what's around it so I'm gonna get a little bit of a yellow ochre and a little bit of a green and mix that together with some white and let's get a little bit of like a waterline let's let's see what a waterline now you want to do like an ellipse right so we're going to get like a waterline going yeah and i'm gonna put my waterline probably about here for the ellipse yeah an ellipse is more like an oval so there you go. So now you get that little illusion, like you have something going on down there. You know what I'm saying? You have the illusion, you guys. You have the illusion. But I need gray. Um, Do I have any gray, peeps? Do we have any gray? Um... I think I have, I think I have, oh, you know what? Remember, gray and white, I mean, blue and white will give me a gray, kind of like a grayish that I need, right? Blue, white, and red will give me kind of sort of like a grayish. I'm going to put some ultramarine down. Get my white. Um, I'm actually going to put a little bit down here. We're going to have a little bit of a, like, um, like a reflection, right? And we're going to have it here. I'm going to put it here. To give me my reflection and that's beautiful it's gorgeous right you could already see but I'm going in a circular motion and just those one little two little things you guys gives you the illusion like you have something going on like you have a little bowl of uh, lilies hanging out that blue 
gives you the illusion like, hey, that's great. It's reflecting what's around it. You could also put a little red in it. I'm going to get some more white. Because we need more what? More what? Right. And this is just straight up red. I'm actually rubbing off some of this. colored pencil that was already there and I'm gonna do this and this is a clear bowl you guys clear it looks gorgeous right I'm that was just a hint of color that's all you need and at the top you have I have my little reflections here all of that stuff going on I gave you like a pro tip like that looks gorgeous right A little bit of gray and red, and bam. You could actually take your water and a little bit of white in your brush and just scrub out that line that you already put in. You see what I'm saying right here? Your line is right here. Just scrub it out. It's over here. Scrub that out, you guys. Scrub it out. See, look at that. That's giving you pure reflection right there. That is perfect. That's beautiful. Go in your office, your home, your living room, your bathroom, your bedroom. Or, you know, what I like to do is give it away. Sometimes I give away things, you know, to my friends, my family, people I love. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of this same blue right here. Because it seems like it's a little bit drier now where I can actually go over it. That blue and white right here. Sometimes values that you think don't belong together actually belong together. Okay? You will never believe it. Now look how quick that came together in under two hours, you guys. Right? Under two hours that came together real quick. Real gorgeous, real beautiful. You want to keep working on this stuff. See, and that, and you can even, if you wanted to, you could even add leaves to the bottom here. Let me show you how quickly you could pull a leaf together in that water. Make it a little bit darker. Blue, yellow. And so you have this little bit of and just put your little bit of, you know, you can actually make these lighter once they dry. If you feel like they're too dark, because I feel like they're too dark. So I'm going to make it lighter, but you want to keep it flat, though. And see, so you have them now you have and you need to extend your um. you see my. Uh, whatever this thing is called. You see this right here? My stem? You need to extend that down into your water. Now that you've created the water. But you don't want it to be too, you know? You want it to be like a little bit of choppy. And you can have a little one. And then have a little bit here. I'm going to put one here because we do have a little bit, bit of a bud up there. And that'll be that, right? Now, you can make this fuzzy. This could be, like, fuzzy, right? This doesn't have to be, like, something where it's, like, super pronounced. You can make that fuzzy because that's in the water. So you want it to, like, reflect. You want it to feel like... It's fuzzy, it has a lot going on, it's da 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 da, blase, blase. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Hopefully, you guys know what I'm saying. And that turned out really gorgeous. Like, I'm really happy with it. Like, that was a really quick way for you to 
have a, and you can do whatever you want with the background. You can do a background in gray. You can leave it white, whatever you choose to. If you have like one of those modern type of, uh, you know, those modern type of homes, you can leave it like that if you want to. But you want to keep those colors really light here, really light. I mean, you really don't want those colors to be like, like I'm even going to like tone some of that back. Like I said, you want to keep these colors really light so that you give the illusion And give the illusion of reflection. Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> hey! At the same time, guys. At the same time, right? Thank you so much. If you hang in there, if you hanging in there with me, I really appreciate you guys. And I probably could have did a different orientation of these leaves. Now, you guys at home can do whatever you like. I... This is how I would do it, you know. And you definitely want to keep on working on this stuff. I'm actually going to add some white. Um, cause these have like little tiny, and I'm going to go down like that. Like it has like little tiny, um, lines in here. It has little tiny lines. So I'm just going to go on this line. I'm actually going to put a little bit there, a little bit here at the top. And I'm actually going to add a little bit here. Right? Here too, because I think this is... Okay, so we have something here. To so add a little bit of highlight there. You want to just add those little glimmers of light, you guys. To give your leaves some pop and feel and dimension. That's just a lighter green that I mixed up. And do 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 do. I actually have um. There's actually a stem right here. Watch out. We got a stem coming. And I'm going to make the darkest green I can make because it's my prerogative, peeps, right? Ah! And let's see. Um, We're going to have it here, right? We're going to put something here. Really dark. And because you want to signify, I'm gonna actually gonna make this a little bit darker right here. Because you want to signify that you have some stuff going into the water. You only have two stems on this photo. And that was a quick, easy thing, you guys. Like, that was mad easy right there. 
Oh, okay. So I have my white here. Let me get into that. I didn't even realize I had that there. Yeah. Um. We have this actually went out a little bit further. Um, so I'm gonna put that a little bit here. Because this petal actually went out a little bit further. So it makes sense for me to put a little bit of that magenta over there. And put some here. Got to keep going back in and reinforcing this stuff. I'm putting a little bit here. A little bit here. Here. Um, I had some white. Okay, let me get my whites. So I got my white and um I'm just gonna put little glimmers of white, right? Where I see it. I'm just putting white, kind of some of my highlights, where I feel like I need to put them, you guys. Um, some here. Here too. I'm just kind of dabbing this stuff on. Putting some white hair right at the edges. This is supposed to be kind of lighter anyway. And... Now I'm going to go back in with some straight up magenta. Put some of this magenta right here. You know what? Uh, one of my favorite colors that I really, really enjoy and I really love is um, quinacridone red. It is a really gorgeous, beautiful color. I absolutely love it. And... Reinforcing this right here. This is supposed to be a little darker. By Golden. It is a gorgeous color. That quinacridone. Um, red. It is a gorgeous color. Right? So. If you can. Kind of invest in some reds too you guys. And reds are really expensive, too, unfortunately. But they are. I'm actually going to go up with this pink. Pink magenta. Now, I'm going to actually whip out. Um, Yeah, so this is my favorite color. My favorite color in the whole wide world. Quinacridone Red. It is a beautiful, gorgeous color. It is a mixture between... Quinacridone magenta and basically quinacridone red. 
It is gorgeous, you guys. I'm put a little bit of it out. It looks really red and really rich and beautiful when you take it out. But when you actually wet it, right? When you wet this thing, when you actually put white on it. So look at that. That little bit I put right there gave it a rich... They gave it a really rich kind of red finish right there, which is beautiful. Um, and I need to get something here because I don't know what in the world is going on there. I'm going to put a little bit here because this is actually, and this is actually, I'm going to feather this in because that goes in like an angle right there, right? Look how beautiful that red is. That looks really gorgeous, you guys. But this is a heavy body consistency. I think you, I'm not sure. I think you can get it. And I'm going to actually add some more of this quinacridone right up in here. Because this is supposed to be like darker right here. I love flowers, you guys. But I think you can get this in a fluid kind of consistency because uh, Golden has a fluid line. I'm going to put a little bit of that here. And you see how I'm adding dimension with this. I'm getting into <clears throat> my blue, I'm getting into my blue right here. And I'm going to use that for my darker value right here. See, got something dark right there, something dark here. Something dark right up in there. And you have something dark right here. Then I'm going to put it in there. I have a little bit of that purple right up in here. To give it the illusion like that stuff is coming out. Right? And um, you could actually add purples and stuff like that to uh, your leaves. Again, purples, reds, all that stuff. <clears throat> That'll really help you out. I'm going to go back in with that same purplish value. And go right up in here, right? Because right here is actually supposed to be a little bit darker. And right up in here. Supposed to be here, 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 and yeah, something here. But then we have a white piece right there too. I gotta get that white in there. We gotta put that white in there. And that's looking gorgeous. It's looking gorgeous, you guys. Very gorgeous. All right, so let me put that away and. Let me get my paint pen. I had a paint pen. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, here we go. 
So I'm going to use my Posca pen. And... I'm actually going to use that. You can actually use this, you guys, to put highlights on yourself. Look at that. Because this is an acrylic pen. It's acrylic. Same thing here. You can use it for highlights as well as putting in tiny, tiny little details. Because you have these white things in the middle. You got to make sure that's the... Now, you want to make sure that this is dry before you attempt this. And just put like strictly white up in there. Yeah, and there's a little white piece in there, too. And put a little bit of white here. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I kind of lost my petal here, so I'm going to go back in with the quinac um, quinacridone red. And put my little path back in. I kind of got lost for a minute. Lost in the sauce. We got lost for a minute, you guys. Same thing here. A lot of this stuff needs to dry. That's why I'm not making any headway right now. This stuff has got to dry. Alright. Alright. Let's add a little bit. Again, let's go back in with those highlights for um I thought I had some white on oh, oh, we got a little bit of white over here. Little bit of white. Here we go. Here, going back in with my white. Here, a little bit here. All right. That's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good, you guys. Pretty good. Okay, now let me put in. Um, I'm gonna get a smaller brush. I'm gonna put in this dark value. 
They have little stamos, whatever we call them things, stamos, stalos, whatever. Um, if you don't know what a stalos is, neither do I. <laughs> um, stalos, whatever you call them things. Um, someone makes a little bit of um brown stalos, stamos, stalos, whatever. Let me point it out for you guys. This thing right here, right? Whatever these little stems in the middle. So that's what I'm going to put in right now, right? And we look like we're pretty close here. Pretty close. Plus, I gave you a little bonus uh, bowl at the bottom, right? Um. All right, so I need a little bit of... Now, if you don't have... Hmm. Huh, Okay, if you don't have burnt amber, you can use raw amber, or you can use, um, black with a little bit of red and get these dark values. You can use a multitude of things, right? So I'm going to use a little bit of raw umber, mix it in with my blue to give me a darker value of, um, like a darker brown, pretty much. And I don't want to have too much in my brush, but I want it to be enough. So then we have something here, right? And you want them to kind of overlap. And then you have something kind of here. So you want them to kind of overlap under, out of the middle. So that's why I'm doing like these awkward, whatever, sweeps. So then you have those things coming out of the middle, right? Now you want to leave those to kind of dry for a minute, get us laugh together, kind of figure things out. You have all those things. So you want boom, boom, boom. So we went in these different directions to figure out where we are. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Okay. Um, so as that dries, what can we work on? I'm going to actually get, because that's looking pretty good from here. And we're almost done, you guys. Like, we are almost at the finish line. We're almost at the finish line. It's almost over. Yay! If you made it to the end, you're an absolute superstar. We're going to just put a few finishing touches on, and we will be done. Yeah? I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm just going to take my wet brush kind of go over this red line. I don't want this line to be so harsh. You can actually remove um, right? I'm just going to remove this line. I'm going to go right up in here. I'm actually going to take this right up in there. Why? Because that can signify, hey, I have um, some type of action going on. We have a situation ship. <laughs> going on inside of our glass bowl you know do you know what i'm saying right because you want to have a little bit of color in here anyway a little bit of shadow a little bit of color so that's good right there that looks pretty good you guys pretty good i'm actually gonna go back into Purple. I'm actually going to get some purple and fill this out right here. And 
And you can actually take a little bit of that to give you some sort of a shadow back there, too. Right? That's just pure purple. Like, look at, look at what you did with clear, pure purple. You gave yourself a little bit of a shadow. Like, you can't beat that with a bat, you guys. If you, the only reason I have this red haze going here, because I actually used a red uh, pencil, but because I didn't, I didn't really think about it when I first began it, whether I was gonna actually do this part or not. But I said, let me go ahead and pop this bonus thing in for you guys. I wanted to be able to do that. I wanted to be able to pop some sort of, um, and my palette, my, my, uh, what's the name is actually drying up. My, um, let me see here. I need to go, I need to create my, I need to round up out my bowl. So I'm going back under, All right? You see how I created those little waves right under here, yeah? And that looks pretty good. I'm actually getting white all over my hands. <laughs> white all over my hand. Yeah, so I don't recommend that you use the, the red pencil, whether it's a watercolor pencil or you know, uh, any type of pencil like this. I don't recommend that you use it because um, when you start to blend things out and the water hits the watercolor pencil, it's going to basically be liquefied, right? Which is going to cause an absolute mess. I'm actually taking my blender brush and blending out the stuff I don't want. That's what I'm doing. <coughs> right? <clears throat> and I put a little bit over here too. Blending brush is a beautiful thing. Alrighty then, you guys. Let's put in our little Stamos things. Which are these little brown things. You know what? I need to get... I think I need some burnt sienna. Burnt sienna. Boom. Boom. You know what? I could actually add some red, and that'll give me red to my raw umbra. That will give me the burnt sienna. Kind of like the burnt sienna that I want. I think I'll be good. So I'll put out a little more red. And I'm going to mix that in with the burnt umber. That's quite not what I want. But I think that'll that'll do for now. Um That's a little bit too red, so I'm gonna add some yellow ochre to this. Yellow ochre, yellow ochre. That's what I'm gonna do. Add some yellow ochre. And see, that gave me my brown. See, now that is what I'm talking about. See that? See that brown, you guys? Look at that. Okay, so that gave me what I wanted. And I got it without even having to have. Okay, so now I put my little Stamos things right here. And you have one that goes across about right here. And you got one here. Uh, I don't even know if I want these things to be this color, though. 
<clears throat> I'm actually gonna add a little bit of that. And I need to add a little white because that's not actually turning out the way I want it to turn out. I'm gonna wash off my brush. So this was pretty fun, quick, and easy way to kind of do you do a quick flower for beginners, right, you guys? Hopefully you found it really easy, really quick, something you can digest without um, too much of an issue, okay? Now I put a little bit of white there kind of to bring that out because you can't even see... Um, You can't even see that brown. So I'll put a little bit on. So hopefully you found this nice, fun, and easy, you guys. Um, this is a nice beginning project. It's like one flower. We went almost, what? Um, hmm. We went about two hours. That makes pretty much sense. Now, the more realistic you want things to look, the more time you would actually spend on this particular project. So take your time. It's not a marathon. You know, just take your time going through it. Even if you need to, after two or three hours, take a break or come back to it another day. But, you know, it depends on your own personal taste and what it is you're looking to do with your art. And, of course, on my channel, my job is to make you find, help you find your purpose and your passion through art, right? So, with that being said, I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial i'm so glad i could do this for you and bring you some beautiful content if you'd like to support my channel you can also visit me on patreon.com the link is down in the description box below and i love you guys and i will definitely let me zoom in a little bit so you can see right that looks pretty good right pretty good so I love you guys.